Hi, it's Jane here from craftwithjane.co.uk. Thanks for joining me today and watching my video. Today I'm bringing you this really cute little hot chocolate pack holder, treat holder, gift holder. Um, so I basically found these limited edition Galaxy hot chocolates um, little packs. They've got two um, of the Galaxy hot chocolate sachets in, in two sticks. They've got a pack of mini marshmallows and they've got an apple crunch sprinkles. And I just love the pack. I just thought it was such a beautiful autumnal pack. It's got a cute little hedgehog, little squirrel here, um, some mushrooms and just all of the autumn leaves and nuts um, and with the apple crunch, all the little apples that have fallen. Um, so when I looked at this and then I saw it with the um sort of the some of the products that we had um this paper um and the stamp set and leaf leaves dies um I just thought oh, these colors just match perfectly so I bought two um so I made up this little holder here which um is actually quite roomy it's got some room down the sides here so I thought I'd probably push it to the side and maybe get a like a galaxy ripple and just slot that just in here to sit inside just to push it to one side so i did make it i mean it would be fine as it is but i made it with a little bit of room at the side that i could um, pop some treats in here as well and i thought this would be a nice thank you gift equally if you've got somebody to stay this is going to be a lovely pillow gift um, in the autumn for anybody stopping at yours so um, i'll uh, crack on with my project for you so I'm going to stick with the same colours. So this is my Early Espresso um, cardstock and it is 11 inches by 7. And I'm going to score it on the short side, on the 7 inch side at half. One and a half. Five and a half. And six and a half. And then I'm going to rotate it to the short side and I'm going to score it at three and at four. So the idea is that I'm going to cut down these sides here. And because they're quite lengthy sides and I would like them to be quite shape, um, straight because they're going to be on display. I'm actually going to get my trimmer out to do the cutting. There we go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, on this score line, I'm going to bring my trimmer up and there's a guide at the side here. So I'm just going to use that guide and I'm going to go up. So you can see that's quite nicely done. And I'm going to do the same here. So I'm going to use that guide again. Perfect. So it's on the seven and I'm going to bring it up. There we go. It's done that lovely. So now I'm going to cut off the um, just the bits either side here. I'll use my, put my trimmer away and I'm going to use my snips for this section just here. So I might turn it over because you know I like to cut on the back where I can see the ridges. So that's that one. And when you're doing this kind of technique with the trimmer, sometimes you don't cut it completely to the edge. So I'm just going to make sure I snip it neatly so it has a nice neat there you go, finish, lovely, that's perfect. So now I'm going to um, use my bone folder and I'm just going to bone fold and burnish all my score lines. So I've got nice crisp finishes when I assemble my box. So there's a little bit more cutting to do, so I've kept my snips out. So I'm going to need to cut down these sections here. So I'm going to leave these on because these are going to be the tabs to glue, uh, but I don't need this little bit here. But these tabs will come up and be the sides, and then these bits will glue in. So I'm going to cut down on these just here, like this. I'm going to cut this away. And then I'm going to just mitre in ever so slightly here and here. And then I'll mitre these ever so slightly. So these are going to be the tabs on the side. There we go. I'll do the same on this side. And then I'm going to cut this here. And then I'm going to do that mitering that we just did on the other side. Mitre there. 
to here, my to there, and my to there. So I'll lay this down to show you the basic shape that you're left with. You're left with this, just take that one away, sorry. You're left with this basic shape. Like if I turn it over, it might lay it flat for you. There we go, so that's the shape you're left with there. So, um, and then you'll just pull these bits up here and that just creates a nice, your nice little box shape. And you just gotta glue it all. So I'm going to get my DSP for this panel here. So he'll be for this panel here and this panel this here. DSP is Beauty of the Earth and it measures eight inches by three and seven eighths. And I'm going to cut it on the eight inch side at two and seven eighths. So just there. And it is going to create like a pattern sort of like that. So um, on the box, so I'm going to put this one on first. So if this was directional, you'd have to be super, super careful here. So I'm going to put this piece on first. So I'll get some of my glue out. I do like to use the glue. This is my Tombow multi-purpose glue in case. I mean, you could use that side as well. That's quite a funky side, isn't it? I want to try that side. I think I'll stick with my leaves because I think it goes with the packet a bit better. So I just need to be careful because I have a tendency to over glue these things. So I'll try not to, I want to go relatively close to the edge, just try not to over glue them. So I'll pop that bit in just there. Creates a nice little centerpiece. And then, because it's going to sit like that, I'm going to pop this piece in here. I'm going to have it that way so it looks like those trees are coming down. So, do the same on here. There we go. I'll turn this over. And then I'm going to pop that just in like that. And that then hopefully will create sort of a seamless layer. So you'll notice it doesn't go all the way down to the bottom, but that's because it's going to be covered like that. So I don't need it to really. I'll just stick, yeah, I'll stick those tabs in there a second. So I'm going to get out my Stamp and Seal Plus, which I do love um, for doing 3D projects where I need some instant stick. So I'll just pop that there. Now this is fastly becoming one of my favourite glues to use and because I know that this bit here is going to be the bit that I need to stick on the inside of the box I'm going to do that as well. So anything that goes slightly over which I did I'm just going to fold in because this is quite, uh, this is the width of the actual um, width of the tape. So. Uh, there we go. So to start with, I'm going to create the box base. I'm going to use this section just here with this little tab to create the start of the box. And I don't want the tabs to be loose in there because I don't want them to get stuck when I'm moving my products in and out. And then I'm going to make sure all of that glue is folded in and I'm going to do something similar with this where I bring this in line. I'd normally be right over this so you have to be careful. Doing it on the camera just does make it a bit trickier and just put these bits in. There we go. So I'm going to now use my bone folder to press in to make sure that's all lovely and sealed. I'll do that on the side of the tabs and with the tabs. Okay, so I hope I'm still in shot, guys. So you can see that the construction there of the box uh, looks absolutely fine. Perfect. So should we see if it fits? A moment of truth. There we go. The so treat fits in there absolutely lovely. So now I'm going to do my ribbon. 
so I've brought on my gold shimmer river ribbon here and I've got the um, early espresso fake um, suede trim so they look quite nice together so I'm just gonna sort of match them up as best I can and I'm going to tie a little ribbon so, so it doesn't matter which side you do this because you can maneuver it so I will move these to that side I try and do this if I can on the um, spool I think I've said this before because I'm trying my best not to waste too much of the ribbon and I'm doing a double bow with so it's basically a single bow but with two ribbons basically and that does look quite sweet so I'll cut these off roughly the same sort of way that I've cut the other two um, I could leave it in the middle there I could move it to the other side I could make the make the bow a bit um the tails a bit neater but I'm going to leave these ones a bit longer than I did that one and that's fine I'm going to separate out the two bows as well so let's pop that there if it'll let me there we go separate those two bows out and leave the trimming quite a bit longer so that's um start of the pack there next i'm going to use the gorgeous leaves uh, bundle and i'm going to use the fantastic um dies i love these dies because i love this skeleton sort of um uh, sort of um die cut of the leaf shapes so i'm going to be using those um i'm also going to use the dies from the christmas season so I'm going to be using this one just here. So these lovely label dies within this set. So it's a beautiful set and you will see me using this more closer towards Christmas. But the die um, that I'm going to use from that is like a label set die. And I'm going to gold emboss the thanks on here, which is what I've done here previously. So I have put all of that together already just on here. So I'm going to get some Stampin' Dimensionals and pop that on. I've used slightly different colours for the leaves, but similar uh, as I did before. So I'm just going to get my Stampin' Dimensionals, which is just here, and I'm going to pop some on the back. So I've adhered these leaves with glue, and I do always put a little bit of tape just to keep them in place and I might put dimensionals on I don't mind having the dimensionals near the tape sort of um feels like they'll help to keep the keep them all secure so I'll pop a couple of these on do I need another one I don't think it'll harm will it let me just have a little look yeah this all feels fine so I'll take these off the backs six of these on I don't like projects to sag I love stamping dimensionals so I think they're perfect so I'll try and put that on straight if I can and I quite like the um, effect of them sort of hanging off the side here I just think it makes them look super cute and then I'm going to use some of these uh, brushed metallic adhesive back dots to pop on there so I use one from each of the colours and they're like um, a rose gold gold and like a pewter kind of colour so I think I'll do the same I'll just find my pick tool which is just here and I think I'll get a nice rose gold off, which I will put over this side. Then I think I'll get a regular gold, which I'll put next to it just here. There we go. And then I'll get a large pewter for the bottom. There we go. I'll get those out of the way. So this is my Galaxy, oops, sorry about the noise, my Galaxy Hot Chocolate. Um, little pack gift box gift box probably isn't it it's more like a box because of the base uh, here for you so I really hope you enjoyed um, this project sort of a little bit more different I know I do hot chocolate sachet packs for Christmas but it's quite cool doing one for an autumn theme particularly as the packets are so beautiful and autumnal
So um, if you would like to purchase any of the projects that I've used and you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, please follow the links below. I would be absolutely delighted. I do send out thank you cards for each order. Um, I do engage quite a lot of my customers and I do send out thank you gifts for qualifying orders. And if you use my host code, you get an additional gift as well. Um, if you'd like to join my team, again, links are below. So feel free to follow the links or to contact me and um, we'll have a chat. So I am going to say bye for now. Um, so I'm going to say bye and happy crafting, everyone.